Hello students, it will be very helpful to you if you go to the playlist. From playlist, you can see the lecture in Bengali and also in English. You can also see the all chapters from class 11 and class 12. If you want to see all chapter, you, you, it will be very easy to you if you go to the playlist. Today, we will discuss about motion on a frictionless inclined plane. Motion on a frictionless inclined plane. Here, the three cases are described. Here, three cases are described. One is the A, A, B is a inclined plane which is inclined with the horizontal with angle theta and the height of the A, height of the inclined plane is H. Here, this, this, this situation is the fixed. That means no motion of the total, total system. Only the motion is the mass of this block. This block is, is in motion, but the system the system is is not in motion but here here the the system system is not a fixed this this system is accelerated through this through this direction with b that means this total system is accelerated through the through the through this direction with accelerated of b and here the same but the acceleration is the is in that direction in that direction in both three cases you have to calculate you have to calculate acceleration along this line acceleration along this line that means acceleration along the inclined plane and acceleration along this inclined plane and here the along the acceleration along this inclined plane and number two you have to calculate total time total time of a body to reach the point b from a that means total time taken by the body to reach the point b from a a if the body is rest initially that means here you can calculate what is the time to reach at point B from A if the body is at rest at point A. Here, here the same and here is the same. Three cases you have to calculate the time taken by the body to reach point B. And number three, you have to calculate the velocity at point B and here velocity at point B and here the velocity at point B. This is the point 3 and point 5 you have to calculate calculate the velocity at any point on an inclined plane say this point and here this point and here this point you can easily calculate the velocity at any point on an inclined plane this is the three or four question is arise at that condition in three condition we will describe separately first of all we described the first one the first cases first cases this this is the height of a inclined plane here the inclined plane that is o that means a here b here b the height of the inclined plane is h here the inclination at angle theta here the mass block of mass m you have to calculate the acceleration along this direction First of all, you have to know the total force acting on this body. Total force are acting on these bodies. The gravitational force acting along this path, along this path, which is mg. If the mass of the body is m, then then the weight of the body is 
acted along this line if the the normal force on this body is normal to the surface this surface normal normal to this surface and this force is regulated along this direction one is in this direction and another is this direction you can easily calculate if this angle is theta then this angle will be a theta that this this two component the force mg can be regulated along this and this component this component will be mg sin theta and this component will be mg cos theta here the total system this mass is accelerated along this line is a you have to know two basic fundamental point one is if the body does not move any any along the direction that mean total force total opposite force must be equal total opposite force total opposite opposite force force must be equal must be must be equal if if this body does not move this direction that means this body does not move this direction and this direction that's why this force equal be equals to this force that means r equals to mg cos theta that is equation number one the second fundamental point is the resultant force if the particle moves any along the direction the resultant force acting on this particle equals must be mass into acceleration that means resultant force if if resultant 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 must be mass into acceleration these two fundamental concept you have to apply here that that means this direction the particle does not move that's why this force and this force must be equal and here the the uh, the particle is moves with the acceleration of a that means the total force along this direction is mg sin theta and there is no force because this part, this plane is frictionless that's why total force on a particle is mg mg sin theta it equal to must be mass into acceleration this is the second equation this equation is called the equation of motion equation 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 of motion equation of motion that is two equation of motion one is r equals to mg cos theta another is mg sin theta equal to mm from this equa two equation we can we can calculate easily the three or four cosine arise four cosine said earlier one is what is the acceleration one is what is the acceleration what is the acceleration acceleration along the along the inclined plane inclined plane that means you have to calculate you have to calculate the magnitude of a from equation 2 that means mg mg sin theta equals to m a both side m m cancel out that means z sin theta equals to a through this equation you can calculate the acceleration along this direction is g sin theta second second question what is the time taken by the particle to reach the point at b from a if the here the particle is at rest to calculate this time you have to apply you have to apply the one dimensional equation what is the one dimensional you have to use one dimensional one dimensional equation one dimensional equation equation along 
along the AB path. AB path. Here the initial velocity equals to zero, and and you have to calculate AB. That means displacement. Here you have to calculate displacement AB. AB you have to calculate taking sine theta. Sine theta equals to sin theta equals to h by ab h by ab then ab will be h by sin theta that means ab equals to h by sin theta here initial velocity u displacement h by sin theta and acceleration acceleration you have calculated earlier g sin theta you have to calculate t time what is the time using this one dimensional equation you can easily you can easily calculate the time what is the time use the equation s equals to ut plus half a t square this is the one dimensional equation here s is equal to h by sine theta that means h by sine theta here u the initial velocity equal to zero that means this this part will be zero here half a means g sine theta g sine theta and here t square that means t square will be 2h by g sine square theta that means t will be root over 2h divided by g sin square theta that that will be the sin theta will come out sin theta root over 2h by g this is the time taken by the particle to reach the point at b from a if the particle is at at rest this is the second point then then the third you have to calculate you have to calculate the velocity third one what is third one third one you, you, you third one is what is the velocity at point b what is the velocity velocity at point p point b that means what is the velocity at point B? Use the one dimensional equation. You know u equal to 0, s equal to h by sin theta, a equal to g sin theta. You have to calculate V. You have to calculate V. Use the equation V square equals to us square plus 2as. This is the one dimensional equation. You have to calculate V. V square equals to this is will be 0 because the initial velocity is 0 plus 2 here a is g sin theta g sin theta here s is equals to h by sin theta s will be h by sin theta this sin theta this sin theta is cancel out that means v square will be 2 g h that means v equals to root over 2 g h this is the velocity at point b fourth one what will be the velocity at any point at this on this inclined plane for that my, uh, here say that this point velocity at this point you have to calculate the this height you have to calculate this height this height then the velocity at point b will be root over root over 2g 2g here the h total height then here the this side is h1 you have to put here h1 and at this point h1 will be h that's why this point the velocity will be 2g h you can easily calculate the velocity at any point on this inclined plane this is the one condition this this condition any value say this is the this is the 10 meter this side is 10 meter this is 45 degree then you can easily calculate the time that didn't mean one by this time will be 
what will be this time time will be t equals to this time equals to t t equals to sine 45 degree means 1 by root 2 and here 2 into 10 divided by say 10 that means root 2 multiply by root 2 that means 2 meter 2 second 2 second if you if say this is the 10 meters and angle of the inclined plane is 45 degree what will be time taken by the particle to reach the point b is 2 second simply put this value on this equation you can calculate the what is the time you, you also calculate the velocity at a point what is the here is here 2 g 10 here h 10 well of 10 here 10 root 2 meter per second you can easily calculate the velocity at point b what is the acceleration acceleration is calculate acceleration a equals to g sin theta you have calculated earlier that means a will be 10 sin 30 that means 1 by root 2 that will be 5 root 2 at this in this process you have calculated any problem related to this topic then we will describe the second one second condition what is the second condition second condition is this system that is the first one is first one system is this is the system that is in theta here h the height here the mass m here the mass m you if you this total system is accelerated by b through this direction what will be the acceleration along the direction you have to calculate first of all you have to find out total force acting on a this particle here the one force will be the gravitational force gravitational force that means mg this force can resonate like this this is the normal r this force will be this is the theta this will be theta if this is theta then means it, this force will be mg sin theta and this force will be mg cos theta you have earlier calculate you have calculate earlier and here if a particle say this is the mass m this particle moves with acceleration b the total force will be m b if this system this system is accelerated through this direction with b that means this mass this mass m this mass is m m feel and force by m b that means this force will be a react opposite reaction force this reaction force will be m b m b that means if this is angle this this line and this line is a parallel line if this angle theta then this is, this angle will be also a theta then this force you can easily easily resolute it like that this direction will be mb cos theta mb cos theta and along this direction will be mb sin theta along this direction it will be mb sin theta here you have to first you have to calculation equation of motion equation equation of motion equation of motion along this path along this direction the mass cannot move that's why this force equal to total force along this line this force 
along this line this force is r must be equal the opposite force the opposite force is two one is mg cos theta and another is mb sin theta that means r equals to mg cos theta plus mb sin theta that is the reaction force of this particle and along this direction if this this part this particle moves with acceleration of a then this along this line this is the force and opposite this is the opposite force the resultant force must be mg sin theta minus mb cos theta you have uh, you have learned earlier that total resultant force must be mass into acceleration here this direction is greater than this that's why this particle moves along this line that's why the resultant force this minus this equals to total mass mass into acceleration here m will be cancel out will be cancel out this this will be cancel out that means g sin theta minus b cos theta will be the acceleration along this inclined plane that means first one you have calculated what is the acceleration along the inclined plane this is the acceleration along this inclined plane the first question is Derive. that means what is the acceleration along this inclined plane this is the acceleration g sin theta minus b cos theta is the acceleration along this inclined plane the second question is what is the time taken by the particle from point a to reach point b you have to calculate one dimensional equation one dimensional one dimensional equation equation along the along a b path a b path you have to use the one dimensional equation along this a b path the initial velocity is zero say initial velocity is zero you have calculate the acceleration acceleration is g sin theta minus b cos theta you have calculate you have calculate earlier the a b displacement equals to a b equals to height by sin theta you have calculate we have calculate earlier this is the will be the same you have to calculate t what is t use this equation s equals to u t plus half a t square half a t square here s equals to h by sin theta and here u u is zero that's why this term will be zero and half into a a means g sin theta minus b cos theta into t square then t square will be t t will be here 2h 2h that means sin theta multiplied by g sin theta minus b cos theta that's root this is the root of this this will this is the total time taken by the body or particle to reach point b from point a if the initial velocity is zero this is the total time then you have you have also calculate the velocity you have also calculate you can calculate the velocity at point b here you have use you have to use v square equals to u square plus 2 a s this equation this equation here u equals to 0 that means 2 here a equals to g sin theta minus b cos theta here h by sin theta that means v equals to v equals to root over 2h g this this cancel out minus b 
cos by sin that means cot theta cot theta this is the velocity at point b point b here the if the velocity you have to calculate the velocity point this point this point that means this height is h1 only the h1 is is will be changed that means velocity at point c that means vc vc will be only root over 2 h1 minus b cot theta through this process you can also calculate the point any any uh, you can calculate velocity at any point along this inclined plane then if the problem come through the acceleration magnitude acceleration 2 meter per second well here 2 meter per second square here the height is 10 10 meter this angle is 45 degree then you can easily calculate the velocity putting this value this value and you have to calculate time putting this value is you can easily calculate here the second type problem is completed that's the third one what is the third one only here the only difference is the acceleration what is the different is acceleration first one acceleration along the inclined plane will be g sin theta here g sin theta minus b cos theta here condition 3 this is the inclined plane inclined plane here height is h this is a point this is b point here theta here this system accelerated through this direction with b magnitude of acceleration b because then the only the direction is reverse second condition the acceleration through this direction here acceleration along this direction opposite direction then here is the mass particle here is the particle of mass m mass m this is the force mg similarly with the first one and second one this will be theta that means mg cos theta here will be mg sin theta if if a mass along this direction accelerated along this direction then force will be mb along this direction but the reaction force will be this direction with mb if this force is uh, this total system is accelerated along this line that the, the reaction force will be the mb along this path this and this are parallel line then if this is angle theta then this will be a theta here this force can easily resulted by this uh, this force will be along this force equals to mb sin theta sin theta and here along this direction will be mb cos theta along this direction mb cos theta first of all you have to calculate the equation of motion equation 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 of motion what will what you you will you have to apply here if this the direction total force r plus mb sin theta and this direction total force is mg cos theta here this this mass this block but this particle does not move along this direction and does not move along this direction that means is it along this direction there is no movement that's why opposite force must be equal here the total force is r plus mb sin theta and here opposite force is equal to mg cos theta that means r will be mg cos theta minus mb 
sin theta that is the first one equation and along this direction two force one is mg sin theta one is mv cos theta and along this force there is no no force because there is a frictionless frictionless plane that's why there is no force the total force along this direction is mv cos theta plus mg sin theta mg sin theta plus mv cos theta equals to must be say this mass is acceleration accelerated like a this mass is accelerated along this path is a this part is acceleration like a that means total mass m into acceleration m will be cancel out that means g sin theta plus b cos theta equals to a this is the calculation of acceleration the first one was a equals to g sin theta second one a equals to g sin theta minus b cos theta here a is g sin theta plus b cos theta the difference between the three cases the acceleration will be changes with the condition here the acceleration is g sin theta plus b cos theta then using the one dimensional equation you can easily time here u equal to 0 s equals to h by sin theta and and a equals to g sin theta plus b b cos theta plus b cos theta you have to calculate t equals to what is t magnitude of t using s equals to ut plus half a t square then s equal to h by sin theta and here u equal to 0 that means a into g sin theta plus b cos theta into t square that means t, t will be root over of 2h divided by sin theta into g sin theta plus b cos theta this is the t and you have to you you can calculate the velocity at point b what is the point velocity of point b using this equation v square equal to v square plus 2 a s that means 0 2 a means g sin theta plus b cos theta into s means h by sin theta that will be v equals to root over of 2 h here sin theta sin theta will be cancel out then plus b cot theta this is the this is the point of this is the velocity at point b what is the summary of this 3.33 three situation here the only acceleration is change then the uh, the other quantity you can calculate with the acceleration the first one tha a equals to g sin theta and second one tha second was second one is was g sin theta minus b cos theta the third one condition a equals to g sin theta plus b cos theta this is the situation number one this is the situation number two and this is the situation number three here the acceleration is changes actually changed acceleration is changed is that's why the all quantity related to this problem will be changed if you understand this theory you can easily find out any types of problem related to this topic.